Hi everybody! Uh, welcome back to Aro Knits and Pearls. I'm your host Aro of Aro Knits and Pearls. As always, you can find my Ravelry, Instagram, Ko-Fi, and Patreon listed in the description below. And speaking of Patreon, I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Truly, like, when I launched the Patreon, I really wasn't expecting much at all. I thought maybe five people, ten people if I'm lucky. But like, you guys have shown up so much and i'm so grateful like the fact that people think i'm worth even five dollars a month is just like i never would have imagined and the fact that so many of you have thought i am worth at least five dollars a month is it's so heartwarming and if you aren't able to commit to that that's totally fine a-okay i don't take offense you know the fact that you watch my videos is plenty i'm just so extremely grateful and launching this patreon um I think will have a drastic effect on my life. Um, I'm not gonna cry this week, I promised I wouldn't because last time I was sloppy. I won't cry, but um, your support really makes a difference in my life immensely. So I wanna thank you guys for that. Um, I haven't made as much as I normally would like because um, when I was on vacation, I was visiting family, so I didn't just get to chillax by the beach like I would have liked. You know, I had to do family things and that's fine. Um, but I had a great time and I'm excited to be back home with my yarn and my dog um, who's sleeping next to me being a butthole. But anyway, um, yeah, so thank you guys, glad to be back. I am wearing, really quickly I wanted to talk about this. This is an outfit I wore while I was in California, like a lot because it's very comfortable and um, it's still knit while being summery. So this is the outline tank by Jessie May. I test knit it for her this summer. And underneath I am wearing like this lace camisole bralette. Um, and I pair it obviously with this lace little cover up robe. And it looks fancy because of the lace, but it's so comfortable. And um, this yarn, for those of you who don't remember, is a merino cotton blend 50-50. And I'm so glad I wore it um, when I went to LA. I was in San Diego in California, but we went up to LA to go to Universal Studios for my niece. Um, and it was so hot, it was so hot. Um, but I was wearing this and I felt pretty okay because I was still, you know, breathing. And um, yeah, I mainly just wanted to show you this outfit. One, because it was really cute and I know not all of you are on Instagram, so you didn't see how cute I looked. But the other reason is just to show you guys like how easy it is to layer summer knits. Like I was one of those people who were like, why the heck would you knit a tank top? But now that I have knit several tank tops, I understand the appeal because I still get to show off knits, um, but I still get to enjoy them during the summer time. Um, Cause if you've tried wearing a full length, you know, like mohair sweater during the summer, you know pain. Um, I've definitely done it just to take finished object photos this summer. And I'm so glad it's starting to cool down. And it is starting to cool down substantially here um, in Salt Lake. I am feeling the nip in the air. I bought a ton of uh, autumn candles from Wax and Wool, so I'm feeling it. It's about here. Um, and that's why I'm wearing this because this is my outfit to say goodbye to the summer because it's starting next week. I'm gonna go full fall, full fall. I don't know what that looks like yet, but I'm going to uh, figure it out. Anyway, let's talk about recent acquisitions. You guys know I'm still trying to stay on top of the yarn diet or yarn fast. Um, I did share with you all that I did break it for the wandering flock. At least I think I did. If I didn't, I broke my yarn fast, but for the wandering flock, it was for these colors, which I posted about in my stories and I asked, would you guys forgive me? And 99% of you said yes. So except for that one person, I respect you for holding me accountable, but I did not listen because I definitely got it. Um, this is Beach Party by The Wandering Flock, and this is one of her newest colors. She actually did an update this week with a brand new blue that's gorgeous, but I'm not getting it because I just broke my yarn fast for this. It's so pretty, isn't it? I got this on DK Base. Of course, I got sweater quantity, but you can really see here the gorgeous speckles. Da -da -da. Yeah, I, I'm in love with it. It's obviously stunning, it's so me. Pink speckles, like, come on. Um, and then I also got, do you guys remember my oat sweater? 
by Annie Hotz. I used the Wandering Flock in this like terracotta pink. Actually, the color was terracotta. And I got the same color, but on mohair. And this was in the same update as Beach Party for those of you who don't follow the Wandering Flock. Um, yeah, she held it together in a swatch and it looked gorgeous, but I don't want to do that. Um, it looks beautiful, but I really love this terracotta color so much. I want to hold it by itself or with a, another color that adds depth to it instead of changes it completely. Because this held with this will change things dramatically. But they are stunning, either together or apart. I'm choosing apart, but I've seen it together and it looks stunning. Um, so yeah, this is what I broke my yarn fast for. But like I said, 99% of you were okay with it. And honestly, I don't want to, I don't want to use this excuse, but I feel like I deserve it. It's been a hard year. Yeah, like I lost my mom, lost my boyfriend, my brother's sick with COVID. Did I mention that? Yeah, my brother's hospitalized right now. I am trying not to think actively about it because things are sad, but I have pretty yarn, so it's looking up. Anyway, yeah, this was a pre-order. It took a little a couple weeks to get it. I'm really excited. I caught, I got to come home to it and I was happy to see that. And I did break my yarn fast for one other thing that I didn't tell you guys about, but I justify it in this way. So. When Big Little Yarn Co, for those of you who don't know Melanie of Big Little Yarn Co, she moved to Japan. Um, she lived in California, but she moved to Japan last year, or maybe it was early this year. Anyway, for the last US-based update, I got two skeins of Yume. This Yume means dream in Japanese, and I got two skeins of that in mohair because I was like, I really wanted three. I really wanted sweater quantity of fingering and mohair, but I can only get these two remaining skeins of mohair. I'm just going to hold on to them. But I have no idea what to do with them because it's a different it's a difficult color to use by with something else. And I will show you why. This is Yume on fingering. And in case you're wondering like Aro, I thought you said you got it on mohair. How do you have it on fingering? The answer, my dears, is that uh, Shop La Mercery got like a huge update from Melanie in Japan. Like she shipped it from Japan to Shop La Mercery. And I, of course, once I saw that she had Yume, I had to get it. I had to get it. So um, it completes a sweater quantity. I think I'm actually going to hold this with the mohair. I wish I had the mohair here, but I already caked it up and it's lost somewhere in the piles of yarn that I'm reorganizing right now. I'm trying to put up new shelves. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna hold it double with this to make the Ranunculus. Uh, Ranunculus is a really popular sweater pattern. Again, I'll link every dyer maker designer that I mentioned. And Ranunculus is really beautiful. I've tried to make it before. It was like four years ago. And I just couldn't wrap my head around the stitch. It's not a difficult pattern from what people tell me, but for some reason at the time, three, four years ago, I just couldn't wrap my head around the lace stitch. So I'm going to try again one day soon. I don't know when, but soon I will try. Um, and I'll use this and it's so beautiful. And I love, I love these labels that I can tell she drew herself. So cute, I love it. Um, yeah, this color, again, it's called Yume. I don't know if Shop La Mercery has more on her website left, but I imagine she will do another restock because I know that Big Little Yarn Co. Yarn is very popular when there is a restock. And again, it's gorgeous and I love it. So no apologies for breaking that yarn fast. Again, I deserve it. It's been a hard, it's been a hard few months. Um, yeah. Uh, then another recent acquisition that is not yarn. I did get the newest issue of Lane Magazine. Um, I... I'm really excited about this. I am especially into a few of the designs. So I get a lot of knitting magazines, but I don't tend to actually knit out of them. Um, I think it's just because I know like, oh, it's in my bookcase, I'll get to it one day. But one of the ones I'm super excited about is Rue de Paris. And uh, La Bien Amé yarn is used in this one and she, she has kits available on her website and I desperately, desperately want the pink kit. It is this color. I want it so bad, but I can't buy more yarn. I've, 
I just, I gotta impose limits on myself, you guys. You know, I'm, I need, I'm a woman who needs limits. And um, I love it so much, <sighs> but I can't get it, I can't get it. There's another one in here that I wanted to show you guys because I do have the yarn for this in stash, in stash. Um, if I can find it, it is called Water Lilies. For those of you who are already familiar with this issue, yes, it is right here. It's this pull, it's, uh, Water Lilies has either a cardigan version or a pullover. I'm obsessed with the pullover version. And this does use Harrisville Daylights and I have Harrisville Daylights. I have it in stash from when I worked at Blazing Needles. And again, Blazing Needles is the local yarn shop in Salt Lake City. And um, Harrisville Daylights incorporates like small pigmentation fiber, like colored fiber bits in the milling process. So it's a neutral, but it's very delicately colored. So this one is Bloodshot, which is a very delicately shaded pink or red, depending on how you want to think about it. They have blue, purple, green, any color you can think of, but I'm especially partial to the pink, obviously. Um, but yeah, I'm planning on using this. And I just, I love this model. She's gorgeous. Like, who is she? Um, yeah, I'm really excited about this issue. Um, I also got a ton more wax and wool col uh, candles. I'm obsessed with wax and wool, wool, wax and wool candles. I have eight that I can see just on one of my shelves. I'll have to show you guys on my Instagram stories soon but it's ridiculous, I have so many. Um, but her fall scents came out and autumn really is my favorite. Uh, yeah, I just, I love the romanticism of it, you know, the smells. So candles make sense. I do have a couple knits to show you. I wanted to talk about one thing. I know a lot of people are waiting on my designs to, to happen. I am working on them, but as you can imagine, with the personal stuff that's going on and my brother's sick, I haven't been able to dedicate as much time as I want to using my actual brain to make things and instead just like following other people's patterns has been kind of calming during these crazy times while I'm still figuring stuff out. Um, so I beg your patience. I promise it's coming. I promise it's just, it takes a lot out of me, um, you know, just to get by, honestly. <laughs> Um, but anyway, yeah, so I did sign up for a test knit in the throes of, you know, the post breakup. Um, so you guys remember, I showed you guys this last time, the Moonset, Moonset tee. It's wrinkled because I've been wearing it out and about and doing stuff. So I love this pattern so much by Ozetta that I signed up for the Moonset uh, pullover. So it incorporates the same neck design. It's got a little bit of a v, deeper v-neck than the original pattern and I did actually quite a deep v because I like a deep v as you can see. Uh, this is actually too low. Um, funny story for the outline tank, I definitely just knit a size or two too large. Anyway, that's getting off topic. But anyway, yeah, so it goes, the Moonset T has a, a wider or shorter v-neck, like a higher v, that's what it's, I know English. It has a higher v then the Moonset Pullover, which I will start very soon, I'm thinking this week. But uh, in my Patreon, if you are a Pearl Girl or Skein Queen, so there's like the lowest tier of $5, um, and those are just nitwits, yeah. Lowest tier $5 nitwits, you don't get to vote, you have to be Pearl Girl or Skein Queen in order to vote. But I did put a poll so my top two tiers, above two tiers, could vote. Um, this one won. This is, you've seen this before, I've shown it to you guys before, Le Biche et Bouche uh, Le Gros Mohair. I have, I have like 15 skeins of this just lying around because I knew this was the perfect shade for me. It's a very, very delicate pink neutral and it's mohair. So I knew I would be using it one day. So I literally have 15 skeins just in my stash. Um, and this won the vote, which I was very pleased to see because I think it is going to be the perfect yarn for this project. Um, super excited to start. Like I said, the construction on Moonset Tea was different than I had done previously. But now that I have my bearings, I'm so excited to see it. Um, the sleeves are going to be long and it incorporates like an I-cord detail, which did have it um, 
The T also had the option for I-cord detail, but y'all know I ran out of yarn. There was no way I was gonna I-cord anything. So I'm excited to incorporate the I-cord detail in the pullover. And I will show you guys as that progresses. Um, and obviously I'll show you guys once it's done as well. Um, I am close to finishing a couple things. So remember how I told you guys that you shouldn't listen to a word I say because I'm a damn liar because I signed up for test knits last time? Well, I'm almost done with them. If Butters will get off of my knitting. Butters, get off of my knitting. Oh my God. Butters! Oh my God, get up. Butters, get up. <laughs> Sorry, she's like crushing my knitting. <sighs> she's the worst. She didn't even get up. I just had to shove her off. Okay. So this one is the Clove Sweater by Rachel Kurihara, or Rachel Knits Things. Again, I will link all the dyers, designers, makers, um, but it has a mock neck, so it's a little bit higher up than I normally would wear, because I prefer my necks to be kind of at least here, because um, I'm like a cat, I can't stand things tight around my neck. But um, cool weather is approaching, so you know, you gotta adapt, babe. Uh, yeah, so this has a, kind of a, it's kind of a dolman shape, I guess I would describe it as. And I picked up sleeve stitches. Again, I'm getting neater, I'm getting neater. You can see it, yeah. But uh, this yarn that I'm completely obsessed with is a uh, Suburban Stitcher in the colorway Champagne. And you can see just like the peachy pink halo from this guy is just out of this world, gorgeous. Um, I really can't get over it. Also, look how beautiful that twisted rib looks in it. It just looks so good. I'm so excited. It has a split hem detail. I haven't went, I haven't woven in the ends because I'm being lazy about it. But once I do, I'm just so excited to show you guys when it's finished because it really is. It looks so luxe, like absolute luxurious, absolute luscious. It's just incredible. Um, it's gonna have, I'm either debating between completely long sleeves or three quarters, I haven't made up my mind, um, but I really, I love it. And I tried on the mock neck, it's not too tight, thank goodness, look how stretchy that is, oh, it's so good. Um, yeah, really happy with it. Some people are doing a folded over neck band, but I, like I said, I think for the bits and bobble sweater, which Rachel also designed, Folded neckbands, if they're not a super wide neckband, I just can't do it because it's too tight for me, um, you know, like a cat. So I think this is as, as tight as I can get and there's so much give in it that it wasn't too tight for me. Um, but I can't wait to show you guys when it's done. I have a huge idea about the finished object photo and I can't tell you guys yet because it's a secret, but I'm really excited. Um, I'll tell you guys after it happens um, to kind of do a post-mortem on that project, but stay tuned. Then I have this guy. So this is the fall raglan that's still unnamed by Flo Knits, Flo's Knits. I will again link everybody, but this is in the colorway Duomo. If you guys recall, that is the color from Explorer Knits and Fibers that was insanely popular in the year 2020. It's arguably still super popular, but um, it's blue. I This is a hill I will die on. You can clearly see the blue is the predominant color, okay? Like, yeah. And like I told you guys, I did start alternating skeins in the bottom half because I ran out of the first skein. And there is a slight difference in color. The first skein was a little bit more even in tone and the second skein was darker. So you can see it go from light to dark, but I think it's a pretty natural look and it, I don't think it looks uh, pooly. I mean, you guys might disagree, but that's okay. Everybody has their own opinion. That's fine. Um, I have to pick up sleeves obviously and do the sleeves, but I expect I will be done with this next episode. I might wear it next episode, actually. It's very comfortable, especially because it has the cashmere content. I really do. I'm very happy with how this knit up. Can't wait to wear it. Um, yeah, so those are the two projects I've been working on over the past couple weeks. Almost done, hoping to be done this week and start something new and maybe work on my designs. <sighs> yeah, it's tough, you guys. Um, yeah, if you guys are on my Patreon, I do have already Patreon exclusive content. I won't be sharing them on YouTube because it wouldn't be fair to my Patreons, 
but if you want to see the Patreon stuff, if you want to be able to vote on my project sweaters, uh, like color combinations, etc., you know, $5. If you want to actually vote, it's $10, I know, but still, $5. If you can do it, great. If you can't, don't feel bad. You know, I, I understand uh, limitations in terms of the monies, so I get it. I get it. Um, but anyway, yeah, not a lot of new yarn. I know I broke my yarn fast a couple times, but a, a couple times out of two months, I feel like is, is doing pretty great. Because think about it, like I haven't bought yarn since pretty much right before my birthday at the end of July. So it's been almost two months, you guys. I think I'm doing great. I don't know if you guys agree, but um, thanks for stopping in. I'm sorry, I don't have a lot to show you other than the two projects I've been working on. Again, I plan to, to be knitting more um, very soon, probably like right now. So yeah, thanks for stopping in. Um, it was so nice to see you guys. I can't wait to show you guys more and I will see you next time. Bye.